For Endless Dungeon, we wanted a style that would let us showcase the details of our rich universe and at the same time be immediately accessible. That's really how we approached this game, with the goal to make it unique, fresh, new. We wanted to capture exciting ideas for the gorgeous, diverse environment that would belong to this awesome universe. The game focuses on intriguing characters with engaging stories and one-of-a-kind personalities, and also on their very cool styles and how they behave. That's why we made them as authentic and appealing as possible. Each character has their own art style, which gives everyone a distinctive feel. The main challenge with Endless Dungeon was that the environment is so diverse and detailed we needed to make sure that gameplay elements stayed clear to the players. For that, the characters and the action had to stand out. That's why we chose to give them a very special style, very colorful and dynamic. Here, we were inspired by comics and animated movies. Action and gameplay are displayed with vibrant 2D effects that we created. For instance, when you have the heroes, enemies and threats in action, you can see that the important elements pop out to guide you through your exploration. Other gameplay elements are illustrated with bright, half-tone patterns. A crucial part of exploration is how much you're able to see in each room, what to expect around the corner with a somber, mysterious atmosphere. That is a main trait from Dungeon of the Endless's visual identity and gameplay that we wanted to work with and evolve. Not an easy task. To play with light and shadows, First, we experimented with the main directional raking lighting that cast sharply defined deep shadows. However, we realized that with the generated levels, this could create areas that were too shadowy to properly see enemies and heroes. Sometimes, we could hardly see anything. So, we changed our approach, added a very discreet secondary lighting that would bring a little more visibility to those dark areas. No, we are still able to see the long shadows, but they won't be too dark as you progress through each level. Another threat we wanted to keep from the original game is the use of lighting colors to serve the atmospheres of levels and rooms. The primary lighting uses warm colors, while the secondary lighting uses cool colors to accompany your exploration and boost the intensity while playing the game. Plus, during critical gameplay phases, everything may start blinking red, or the main lighting may even disappear. We also use half-tone patterns to emphasize the comic-inspired art style. A true puzzle to solve was how to present the Endless Universe. In Endless Dungeon, the camera angle gives players a much closer view on the environments, heroes and action. So many questions popped into our heads. What do Endless living and working spaces look like? What about Endless physiology and anatomy? What was the writing like? We don't explicitly answer these questions in-game, but the environment should give the players some clues. We've worked hard to balance gameplay and aesthetics, embrace the legacy of Dungeon of the Endless, and give it a fresh new look. We are really looking forward to letting you explore the station and uncover all of its mysteries.